And welcome everybody. Thanks for being here. Don Gennetti, lighting-essentials.com and project52prosystem.com. One of the uh, things about doing these uh, little videos about photographers that have influenced me is that sometimes there are photographers that I haven't done that, that it's, it's impossible for me to, to even imagine uh, how much influence they had because I could probably do an hour on some of these folks. We haven't done Richard Abaddon yet. We haven't done Penn. Uh, and uh, I thought I'd, I'd save some of those for the, the last ones. But I got I to gotta tell you, uh, this particular photographer that I'm going to talk about today is uh, so influential. Helmut Newton, uh, in the art world, in the photography world, in the fashion world, in every aspect of what he did, he was just the top of the line. And uh, such a creative guy. Let's take a look at this first shot here. Uh, the two girls, this is something that that I love doing when I was shooting fashion was to have the models moving all the time. So he's got the, the girls doing sort of a semi faux like they're fighting in the sand. But actually, as you can see, they're not really fighting since they're turned away from each other. He's just using the strength of the women, using the sunlight, the strong midday light. Uh, there's a, an old saying, only fools and Helmut Newton shoot at noon. Um, and that's what he's doing here. Look at the shadow fall. Uh, so he's keeping the girl's face up into the light. We get these great, tremendous shadows coming under the arms and under the legs. Even though they're on sand, we get a lot of nice fill. Look at the bright highlights on the girl on the left on her back and on the chest of the girl on the right. This is just really amazing work. It, uh, it's so graphic, and it just puts you right in the scene. It's just an amazing piece. Helmut Newton uh, uh, used you know, pretty much every light there was, but he did not shy away from noonday light. This is uh, an interesting set of images that he did of the girls sort of walking in place. Um, we, uh, because it's YouTube, I can't show the second image, but each of these photographs were the uh, wet young women walking in place in clothes on the left side and nude on the right side in the same spot, in the same position, in the same pose. Uh, it was really kind of a <clears throat> statement he wanted to make, and um, it was really powerful. Now, this is uh, uh, one of my favorite shots. I love the way uh, the young lady up front. Notice we have the, the side lighting here, you know, right in here. We have side lighting on the, the this young lady here. And then this young lady has turned her face totally from the light. She's looking the other way. This way, this young lady is looking back in and both of these girls are facing us. So it's really an interesting pose uh, as well as a very interesting photograph. Large light to the left, uh, when you look at the shadow fall, it could be uh, one of the natural light studios in New York, Milk or something uh, like that. But um, it's just an awesome, awesome photograph, isn't it? Uh, here's another shot that he was well known for. Again, midday sun, you know, what is it, 2 o'clock sun. Uh, got a, either a very bright fill card up here under her hat or a flash. Could have been either one. He used everything. But look at this tremendous photograph. Look at the lines. Look at the hat. Look at the, the feeling of action. And yet when you look closely, it's fairly static. It just feels like there's a lot of action in the picture. Heavy contrast. Lots of grain. Very much a black and white photograph. And um, I think it's very power powerful the way he works with this. A lot of black. Here's another uh, two young ladies. Very mundane set. Uh, sometimes his sets were not rich villas and cool places, but just sort of, you know, somebody's backyard pool or a, a parking lot somewhere. Uh, he liked the uh, changing up the context and creating more of a story. Look, these uh, young ladies are handcuffed together. Looks like this this girl is chasing this girl down. Lots of action. She's reaching right out of the frame here. 
You know, look at the look at the way everything's falling to the right, including the camera. A little bit of camera fall to the right here. Really cool shot. This is an iconic shot by Helmut Newton, and uh, I think one of my favorites. Uh, and it is indeed lit by streetlights. There's a streetlight right above us here, and that's what's lighting this young lady here. So this was taken, I believe, at 1 o'clock in the morning or midnight or something along those lines. Very, very, uh, very, very early in the morning. Uh, it was just a great shot. Just a great shot. The, uh, the tux, the pose, everything works so well and then dropping that background out and having the lights in the picture really really cool uh this next shot that I sort of previewed a minute ago uh is also one of my favorites the light through the keyhole light through the keyhole um a lot of of uh helmet newton's work was natural light and simple light say bouncing lights off ceilings Umbrella, maybe, uh, that type of thing. Not soft boxes, usually more umbrellas or, or movie lights, or big heavy studio lights. Um, and look at this, looks very, look at the highlights in here. This looks like a very hard light coming down in here, but there's so much of it that there's an ambient feel as well. And of course, she's looking right through the keyhole at an even brighter light. Don't be afraid to shoot without flash. Don't be afraid to shoot with very powerful continuous light. It, uh, it can be a really cool look. It can be a really fun experience. Don't be afraid of it, of that continuous light uh, look. It's exciting as hell, especially when you can pour on more than one or two lights, maybe four or five lights, and it can be just terrific. This is a great shot. Look at the crop. What a, that's what I call a brave crop, right? I mean, she's, he's cropped out the eyes, the eyebrows, for goodness sake. Just pull all the attention down here on her hand and her thumb and everything. And here, that's this out of focus. The jewelry is in focus. She's got the cigarette hanging out of her mouth. It looks like a snapshot. It looks like something that was just caught. And that's, I think, one of the things that Helmut Newton um, always delivered was that sort of feeling of, in the moment, spur of the moment, like we just caught this moment of this model or this young lady sitting here and we're privy to an instant in time rather than a fancy pose. And he did his share of fancy poses, but this is the kind of stuff that really, really, I, I, I just absolutely love. This is one of my favorite shots. I, uh, I tried to do this shot and did a did an okay job with it. We used 35 millimeter movie film and created a couple of stripes across a, a model's face uh, for a client. That was a long time ago. This is a long time ago, and I think it's just as fresh as it could be. It's just really, really cool. Working with cookies, working with shapes in front of the light, just very similar to this one. You know, the light coming through the keyhole here. Really, really fascinating. Um, and, and possibly the way this one works as well. You know, outside with the, with just the, the uh, overhead lights. Fast film and a model that can hold some real still. Can't beat it. <clears throat> look at this. And that's great. Again, look at the background. It's nothing spectacular. We got a tree with a stake on it. So, you know, the little tree needs some help here. We got some pools of light that are fun. Uh, and then we have this fur coat uh, on a chaise lounge, something that would be more, uh, you know, backyard barbecue thing. But we've got the, the lounge and the fur coat and the, the subject laying here looking very glamorous. Uh, again, that juxtaposition. You know, pitting one thing against another. The luxury of the coat, the luxury of the dress, and the sophistication of the model's look with a very ordinary background. There's one more. I think that um, it's so graphic that it just nails the whole thing. 
I believe I read somewhere that he had the young lady put the stockings on backwards. So the seams that normally ran up the back of the legs run up the front of the legs. And that was just a little pun, a little joke, a little having a little fun with it. Um, the, again, this is, you know, very hard lighting, heavy lighting from the, from the top down here. You can see the, the leg coming out. You can see the stiletto. You can see it coming from here. Light coming from right up here. You can see it, how her shoulder parts are in the, in the shadow here. Uh, the brick and the, the concrete everywhere. Is this sunlight? Is this uh, 5,000K movie light? We don't know. Uh, does it matter? No, of course not. doesn't matter. It just looks really, really cool. But you can see that there's something in front of the light as well. Maybe he's flagging this off. Maybe he dodged it in the, or burned it in the, uh, in the uh, dodge the background, burned it over here a little bit in the dark room. Uh, those things uh, certainly took place. But what a, what a brilliant photograph. It's just so captivating. And, of course, this famous shot of Raquel Welch in her backyard. This is just a backyard, just her backyard with the agave plants here. He had her get up on the top, and she's just playing with the dog. But he made the shot be something unusual, mysterious, because he saw the pattern of the agaves. <coughs> These are amazing. Um, Raquel Welch, also, you know, an amazing model and, uh, and uh, talent. Just a tremendous photograph. Uh, Helmut Newton uh, is uh, one of those those photographers that just hits on every cylinder. And, uh, of course, this is one of the more famous shots that he did. Uh, the, the famous Playboy bunny ears, but this is sort of a mask. Uh, and you get this sort of urban feeling back here, don't you? Uh, and just placing her in front of all this naturally lit daylight. Uh, back here, and this is daylight smacking her on side the, the side of the face here. Um, all these vertical lines, it's so industrial looking. And then you have the soft lines of the woman here with the silly hat on, or the whatever the mask is. And again, it's, it's that playfulness. It's like the dog in this photograph. It's like the chaise lounge in this photograph. The keyhole. The cufflinks, the hat, the faux fight on the beach. All of this stuff just uh, makes for a, a tremendous portrait session. Try it out when you're uh, out shooting. Uh, keep some of the things that Helmut Newton did in mind. Think about uh, how you can use midday light. Uh, be one of those crazy people who also shoots at noon. Hey, listen, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button there. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll have some more photographers come up uh, pretty soon. If you're interested in Project 52 or anything else that I do, it's all down in the description, as well as some links to Helmut Newton's uh, uh, photography and some videos, I believe, that we have for Helmut Newton, so you can find out a little bit more about him. Anyway, thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time.